If you want critical information to help you not only survive, but to thrive with everything that's going on in the world, then watch this video. I usually say avoid the news if you want to live a happier and healthier life because it's a lot of dramatized negativity, but avoiding the news right now is impossible. And actually some of the things that we're being aware of by watching the news is helpful. But it's very important, and I'm noticing this myself, that I need to self-regulate. I can really get down a rabbit hole of like watching all these newscasts and reading all these articles, when really that's wasting a lot of time and just creating more fear and anxiety within me and probably you as well. I have been sharing for years, and especially more recently in my number one best-selling book titled Stressless Success, that what we give out, we get back in terms of energy. And this is the most powerful thing to understand and how to create your life and how to create your reality. Your energy is just a reflection of how you feel. And the secret to a successful life, both personally and professionally, is to learn how to live in a way that cultivates positive energy. Hi, I'm Jenna McKee, speaker, best-selling author, success coach, here to share with you some of the most critical information that I believe you need to have to give you your power back in terms of creating a better situation and dealing with what's happening in the world today. You know, the, the issue today is that the news is filled with reasons to feel fear and anxiety. And the key here is to take your power back and create a life that gives you the best opportunity to not only survive, but to thrive. My prayers go out to everyone that is experiencing challenges because of what's happening in the world today. Both those that have been experiencing the health challenge from the virus or their job or their business has been affected by what we're doing to try to contain the spread of the virus. Please know though that these challenges in our lives make us wiser and stronger in the long run. I'm sure you've had challenges in your life that looking back, you learned something from and have benefited from. And if you know my story or if you read my book, you will know that I have been through challenges in every area of my life. Well, I'm now wiser and happier than I've ever been, even considering all the chaos that's happening in the world right now. How is that possible that I can do this? Well, I share a lot in my book. Let me just mention, we decided that we're gonna give the book away for free with everything that's going on. So if you visit stresslesssuccess.com, you have access to receiving a free print version of my newest number one best-selling book. So please consider visiting that. It's a gift we wanna to give to you. But what happens is when we live in fear, it increases our stress. Fear is one of the biggest sources of stress. And it's very hard to deal with the challenges in our life when we are living within high levels of fear, anxiety, and elevated stress levels. What I wanna do is help you get to a place of calm awareness because from that place of calm awareness, you will be better equipped to not only think more clearly, but live more healthily and support your immune system, which is very important this time. Because research has shown, and I include this all in my book, that as fear increases and stress increases, we actually go into this fight or flight mode. And your body is going into fight or flight mode as if a tiger is attacking you and it needs to be prepared to either fight or run. Well, what happens then is blood drains from your brain and into your extremities in case you need to fight or flight. Well, when blood drains from your brain, it becomes nearly impossible to think clearly and calmly during these concerning times. So number one, that's one of the things that happens that's gonna prohibit you, inhibit you from getting a handle on what's happening and to make the best decisions going forward. Also, when we have increased stress, it suppresses our immune system. And one of the most important things we're gonna share with you today is how to build a strong immune system so that you can fight a disease if you begin to develop it and of course, recover from it quickly. 
when you are experiencing high levels of stress also it affects your melatonin which is your sleep hormone and it's so important to get high quality rest so that you feel better and are able to think more clearly to deal with the stress that and the challenges that might be occurring while also when you have elevated stress feelings within your body it releases cortisol in your body to help you deal with stress but that also increases inflammation which can lead to more health challenges and of course elevated cortisol in your body will increase weight gain which will also lead to other health challenges so what we're going to do today is i'm going to help you balance fear with facts and by understanding the facts of what's happening right now it'll help you get to this place of calm awareness and i like to say that fact is a much better four-letter word that begins with the letter f better word than fear not what you were thinking so we have to laugh a little because laughter helps us live healthier and supports our immune system so let's look at some of the facts First of all, data from John Hopkins University has shown that there's about 130,000 cases of this virus around the world, but 70,000 people have already recovered from the coronavirus. And the World Health Organization has stated that 80% of the people that become ill generally experience mild illness and recover in less than two weeks. And those that have more serious response to the illness do recover within six weeks, 80% of the people. The virus really only brings mild symptoms of cough and fever. The concern is for those that have a suppressed or weakened immune system, such as those that are ill or the elderly. The Chinese government's senior medical advisor who worked to stop the SARS virus back in 2003 said that during a press conference last Thursday that if all countries take positive measures, this pandemic could be over by June. And also in the warmer weather as we approach June and we have warm weather in the Northern hemisphere, this will also slow the spread of virus because we're getting out of cold and flu season. The peak of the virus outbreak in China has already stopped. Now the numbers of new cases, I think, are almost zero or they're dropping dramatically. So we're already within just a few months in China where it started, seeing them come out of the issue. Now we're heading into more serious times in Europe. But again, if within a few months, China was able to get out of it and we've learned so much from the experience that they've had and others have had that now we're wiser and all the countries are taking action and we're all going to be able to get through this quicker again these are facts i'm not diminishing the concern and the serious nature of what's happening what i'm trying to do is help you balance your fear with these facts so that you can be calm think more clearly and generate better energy to be healthier and smarter through these times the World Health Organization statistics have shown that the worldwide influenza outbreak that we experience every year, this is the common flu, reaches three to five million people per year become infected with a severe case of the flu and about 250,000 to 350,000 die every year from the flu. I want you to know it's not actually the flu virus, it's the pneumonia that's developed from the flu that contributes to the, the mortality rate. But these numbers are enormous and this I'm not saying this is good news. The concept here is to put this all into perspective. Now I know this is a novel virus which means the human body has not been exposed yet to this virus and so we haven't had the opportunity to develop immunity to it and this is one of the good things by the way for those that have been exposed their bodies are already developing the ability for their immune system to fight this so this is one of those interesting good things that could be coming out of this but the idea here is that we need to understand these facts these true facts about the common flu versus what we're dealing with now only to help us balance and and level our fear so that we can diminish the stress 
what are some of the benefits that you've achieved from challenges in the past, right? We all know. So when a challenge happens, we say to ourselves, okay, what's this teaching us? What's this showing us? What good may come of this? Because when you look at your challenges that way, you don't react by stressing out. You can just calmly decide what good may come of this. So I decided to look at what are some benefits that we're experiencing as a human population for what's happening right now in the world. One of them is we're all becoming more aware of personal hygiene, right? I was always really good at washing my hands and so forth. I do a lot of, I drink a lot of water. I drink my herbal teas. I drink my juices and my smoothies. So I go to the bathroom a lot. Well, I'm always washing my hands. Well, even me, I'm now more aware of being diligent in keeping my surfaces clean, my hands clean, my phone and my computer. And I'm also being aware not to touch my face if I could have been, you know, in an area where I could have, to, you know, contracted some germs. So all of this that we're becoming more aware of is going to help us going forward. I guarantee you by a year from now, there are going to be less cases of even the common flu and less illness and less deaths because we're now being more careful. The second thing that I think is a benefit to this is that we are more aware of our elderly and those that have a compromised immune system. And so people are doing things like offering to run errands for them and take care of them and protect them. This, what I call is social compassion is a beautiful thing. So that's one of the good things that often comes out of these challenges that we experience in the world. And often, hopefully, another benefit I believe is you're becoming more aware of living a healthy life and what you can do to support, to support and boost your immune system. I'm so excited I'm talking so fast. So this is so key because if more people are aware of living a healthier life, then this is good. This is something that's good. That's coming from this current situation. So what can you do to support your immune system? I have so many clients calling me and emailing me, Janet, what do I do to have a strong immune system? So let's talk about this. First of all, I want you to focus on the positive things in your life. I just told you that stress can increase your, um, suppress your immune system and just increase this level of negative energy that you're giving off. And we're trying to boost your immune system right now. So when you go to bed at night, think of something that you can feel good about. And notice what I said, something you can feel good about. In my book, again, it's just a success. I explain the positive thinking is not the answer. If you try to force a positive thought about what's happening right now, you're actually when you have a lot of fear behind it, you're putting more fear out into your energy and the energy around you. And that's going to make the situation worse. So do not try to force a positive thought about what's happening. Again, we're giving this away for free. Stresslesssuccess.com. What you want to do instead is pick small, slight, thoughts that help you feel better because you believe them. Things like, oh, I love the pillow underneath my head and I love the co the covers over my body. I'm so thankful and grateful for my family, the, my, my home, whatever that is and feel it. What does it feel like to feel those and to think those positive thoughts that create positive energy? I want you to get a lot of good quality rest because when you sleep, it's not only rest and rejuvenation, it's when your body detoxifies and heals. Sleep is critical. And when you first wake up in the morning, notice what thoughts you're choosing, choose thoughts that create good feelings within you, such as this is going to be a beautiful day. I know that things are going to get better from here. I trust and have faith that all is well. Get the feeling of what that feels like. And that is how you create the foundation for a beautiful day. I want you to make sure you drink plenty of fresh water. Again, this is going to help all of your detoxification organs work better because they're hydrated and you're going to be flushing out anything that you may be in contact with and also helps uh, your joints be more lubricated, but also when you're hydrated, it helps your brain think more clearly. So very, very important. These are basic common sense things, but I'm here to remind you. And now maybe all of you are going to start living a healthier life. I want you to consider getting beneficial bacteria for your gut. And I recommend you take a natural probiotic. You can also eat really natural, healthy fermented foods. Your immune system relies on beneficial bacteria in your gut in order to be healthy. So important point to have a strong immune system. 
To support your immune system, I want you to eat a diet that's rich with colorful plant foods. You know, the fruits and vegetables, whole grains, beans and peas, nuts and seeds. Plant foods of a wide variety of color are not only, not only rich with antioxidants, which is the ammunition your immune system needs to go out and fight, they also contain phytonutrients. Phyto, P-H-Y-T-O, means plant nutrients that help your body fight all kinds of health challenges, diseases, even uh, bacteria and viruses. So what are some ideas? Foods high in vitamin C, such as of course the citrus fruit, but sweet peppers, kiwi, strawberries, these are all foods with great sources of vitamin C. And vitamin C, when you consume it, actually goes into your body and supports the watery sections of your blood and inside your cells. So really critical for that. Mushrooms, cooked mushrooms are very important to include in your diet because they boost your immune system and help you fight all sorts of diseases. So this effort is also gonna help you fight all kinds of other things. And mushrooms and Brazil nuts have selenium, which is important for supporting a healthy immune system. Sea vegetables, seaweed. If you ever ate at a Japanese restaurant and have miso soup or you know sushi, the green stuff that's floating around in there, that that's seaweed. Seaweed is the excellent, most excellent source of iodine, natural iodine that not only supports your thyroid, but is important for healthy immune system. Pumpkin seeds are a great source of zinc. Zinc is actually one of the nutrients that helps you fight viruses. Isn't that interesting? And I'm not saying that any of these things are cures for what's happening. I'm just giving you some common information that you need to know to be healthy and have a strong immune system. That's all I'm saying here. But I love pumpkin seeds because they're also a complete protein and have healthy fats. Like, isn't that a great food that we all should be eating? Also include foods from the allium family of vegetables. That's garlic and onions because they have allicin in them, which is a powerful phytonutrient that helps you fight all different types of diseases. And what's also interesting is garlic is mother nature's antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic, and antiviral. Garlic is amazing for you. So I want you all to be eating garlic. And we're talking about social distancing as helping to protect us from spreading this virus. Well, so many times I tell people to eat garlic, they say, oh, that makes me smell. And you know, I hate when my spouse eats garlic, he stinks. Well, if you want to con contribute to social distancing for yourself, eat a lot of garlic and people will stay away from you. Again, I'm just joking. We need to laugh and smile because that helps us get through this current challenge. Also, I want you to eat a lot of green leafy vegetables because it supports your liver, which is one of your major detoxification organs to help you clean your blood and your body of toxins. And we're getting into springtime here in the Northern Hemisphere where everything's turning green and it's amazing because Mother Nature is showing us every time, this time of year, every year, we need to be considering eating more green leafy vegetables to help our body cleanse and detoxify. Let me just mention, we also have on our website, I'm CEO of Sauna View. S-A-N-A-V-I-E-W, we have for you not only a 21 day detox course where I literally got in front of the camera every day for 21 days straight teaching you 21 different aspects of detoxing your mind and body. So very important that you get on that course with what's ever happening now, but it's also a good thing to do in the springtime anyway. Please get on saunaview.com, take a look at the 21 day detox course. As a matter of fact, we'll make sure that we put it for sale for you so that you have access and you'll just pay for the streaming uh, service. Also include in your diet a lot of herbs. Herbs are amazing because they're natural antivirals. Did you ever know that? This is amazing for you to know. Oregano, sage, Basil. As a matter of fact, I have basil growing on my kitchen countertop. It's been growing there all winter long. Fresh basil. I can just pick right on my kitchen countertop. And as a matter of fact, at our farm, Son of You Farms, we are growing these pretty little pots of a variety of herbs to teach people that you can grow herbs on your kitchen countertop any time of the year. It takes you a few seconds to add a little bit of water a few times a week. And you have natural, not only delicious herbs to add to your cooking, but they support your health and are actually antiviral. Also, fennel, lemon bulb, peppermint, rosemary, incredible antiviral foods and herbs. Also for uh, antiviral 
Other foods, elderberries. Elderberries are known for being amazing for helping with the common flu as well. There are also roots such as astragalus root, ginger root, ginseng, which is a root, and licorice root. No, I'm not talking about licorice candy. There's actually a licorice root that's found in a lot of supplements. Same with astragalus and a lot of supplements to help you boost your immune system. If anybody needs any help with this, just get in touch with me. Janet at saunaview.com and I'm glad to email you or call me. Glad to communicate with you any way to help you with this. Olive leaf, also you'll see often olive leaf extract is also a natural antiviral. Mother Nature gives us so many things to support our immune system and you don't have to do all of this to be healthy. Just pick a few that make sense for you in your diet and your lifestyle and make sure you include them. Now I want you to avoid immune weakening foods such as animal dairy. We know that the current virus is attracted to our um, mucous membranes and animal dairy can increase mucus formation. So that'll be the last thing you wanna do right now and actually ongoing with what we're facing. And you also wanna avoid immune weakening foods such as simple sugar, doesn't mean you give up dessert, we'll explain that in a minute, and also white flour and bad fats and all these things. And if you need any information, I have lots of recipes on our website at saunaview.com or in my other book, Fabulous Recipes for Vibrant Health, which has been a very popular book because not only does it have hundreds of my favorite recipes in it that use a variety of colorful plant foods, all wonderful tastes and textures that satisfy all of your cravings. But the most important thing is, and I never give up dessert, and there are oh, 20 or 30 amazing desserts in this book that satisfy all kinds of cravings for sweetness because it's natural that you do without simple sugar. You can actually be healthy when you eat my desserts. That is the way to live. This is what we're doing. We're getting our power back here, right? With ideas that are helpful and fun. The other things I want you to do to support your immune system is you gotta exercise. You gotta move your body, get your lymphatic system moving. Your lymph system helps your body detoxify. It's one of the really key detoxification mechanisms within your body, but you have to move your body to keep the lymph from uh, becoming stagnant and help your body be healthy. Also consider maybe a few supplements like vitamin D or get in the sun if you're in a warm climate right now. And there are also other uh, antiviral ingredients and in supplements such as Isatis and St. John's wort, which you also sometimes find in tea. And there are other immune boosting uh, herbs actually that are found in supplements such as echinacea and golden seal. Again, I'm throwing this all at you in a fire hose. If you need any help, you contact me. I am glad to support you. For all of these reasons I've just discussed, it is time now to pause and give thanks for all that we are learning. This is going to be short-lived. We're going to get through this. Our economy is strong. What you need to do is have good health, have strong immune system, and awareness is helpful, but we need to balance all the fear and anxiety and stress with the facts I've shared with you today, and you are now empowered to take action and live a healthier life. Please know that are my book, Stress of Success. We're giving it away for free at stresslesssuccess.com. You can contact us for any additional help or support you need. I want us all to pray with positivity. Send out blessings to everyone around the world. We are all gonna get through this. We're gonna be better and wiser because of it. And when you put out positive energy from you, it feels better than fear and stress. And when you put out that positive energy, you create positive results for you, your loved ones, and for the world. I share this because I care about you. Thank you for joining me. You know that I love you. Have a wonderful day and many blessings and good health to you and your entire family. Take care. I forgot to tell you that I happened to be on Global News yesterday. Yes, I was watching this, I was watching the news, I was reading the news, and 
in Italy, where they are in a complete countrywide lockdown, I saw the most beautiful thing that brought joy to my heart and lifted my spirits and I want to share it with you. These people are told they're not allowed to leave their homes and there are entire buildings of people from Italy standing on their balcony and in their windows playing music and singing songs and sharing joy and laughter. To me, I happen to be Italian, it made me so proud to be Italian because that is what we all should be doing as part of our response to what's happening in the world. They are sharing their love and their positivity and their joy and that's gonna help them not only heal from this but recover and be back on the road soon enough. Thank you again for joining me. I wanted to remember to share that with you. We'll include a link to the very report that I found on the World News. Thank you. Take care.